hello friends welcome to my channel this is Lakshya Aroda and so in this video I'm going to tell you and guide you how you can prepare for a DevOps interview so first of all let me tell you what is DevOps because everyone like not everyone but many guys I've seen who are asking me how we can prepare for the DevOps interview how we can switch to a DevOps career so let's get started so first of all what is DevOps so as you can see from the name DevOps it is an integration of your developers and operations guys so earlier what used to happen couple of years back developers and operation guys were not in sync so there were many there used to happen many issues <laughs> like operation guys did, did not knew what developers are doing where is the code at what time they are checking what code changes they have done so like there was not sync i'm just uh, explaining you in brief so after that we various uh, methodologies came like agile waterfall model waterfall model is the came before agile then came agile then finally came devops so devops was all about the uh, integration of your developers and operations guys so like developers are committing their code to a git branch okay and then operations guys basically devops guys are involved in fetching that code and building that code creating branches and then deploying that code to the test branch and finally merging it to the master branch so this is uh, like the responsibilities and roles of our devops engineer so devops uh, like nowadays companies are looking for full stack devops engineers why because companies don't want to hire a, sep a separate guy who do development and another guy who do operations part they want a, they want only one guy who can do development as well as operations so this is how devops came into picture and let me tell you from my experience one thing like i have seen many guys i am added to groups uh, like many guys sell courses on devops they say that you can buy this course in 500 rupees even 250 rupees and you can uh, like become a devops engineer so so just think once it's common sense like if you are purchasing a course which is about 10 to 12 hours let's say max to max 15 or 20 hours of videos and you are paying 500 rupees for that course so do you think you will become a devops engineer do you think you will have the required skills which are required to be a devops engineer because companies are investing lakhs and even crores some are investing in crores also so which company will give you a job uh, who, who has just done a 15 to 20 hours course and claim that he is a devops engineer no company will give you to handle like no company will ask you to handle their infrastructure because already they know in market there are many people selling courses so people are just reading from those courses and claiming that they are devops engineers so this is not how things work this does not mean that you cannot switch from cloud domain to devops domain or from dotnet java development domain to devops domain you can definitely 100 percent 200 percent but for that you need to do months even some years of practice I would not say years I would say 10 months 12 months one year one and a half years of practice so everything comes by experience you cannot learn a single technology like you cannot learn docker or let's say Jenkins or any programming language let's say dotnet by reading a single course on Udemy which is about 10 12 hours you cannot become a dotnet developer like that or DevOps engineer you need to spend time for that so now you must have got a clear idea how what to how you should choose your path and don't just depend on a single video or single uh, blog read from multiple blogs do practicals from your end and uh, that's uh, how like uh, get joined to multiple groups solve real time issues work as a freelancer so this is how you will start learning devops devops or any other field uh, it is uh, like I'm generalizing it it is general to all so this is how you should uh, follow your path 
and now let's come to prerequisite like how you should prepare for a devops engineer so for to be a devops engineer successful devops engineer i would suggest you to first start from basics so your basics will be start from linux because linux operating system is the base operating system linux is more in demand still today as compared to windows because linux is the base so in if you are if you will see any company uh, who are hiring uh, devops engineers or some devops engineers who are already working in some company you will notice that they are having a good background in linux they don't directly become a devops engineer because they are working as a system admin linux admin for some years two years or three years and then they are uh, shifting to devops field so linux is actually the base many companies use linux because it is open source and many other benefits are there so linux is the base basically next after linux it comes the networking part so networking is also very important uh, from a devops point of view because networking not uh, you don't have to go in deep just a basic idea of networking how dns uh, routing works how uh, like uh, dns switches works all uh, basic networking terminologies you should know and how network flows so this is like you should know all these things basic linux networking okay and next comes the development part after you are done you can switch to you should also know a basic programming language like dotnet python python is the most demanded language in devops field if you are working in azure devops then c sharp dotnet asp.net is more in demand you should also be having knowledge in any programming language because you will be working closely with developers so obviously if there is some code issue so you won't be asking developers you won't be sending emails to developers again and again to fix this issue you should be able to fix that uh, issue on your own basic issues some code issues some uh, access related issues some network related issues so you should also know a programming language i would suggest you can go with c uh, c sharp and uh, python python keep python on the first priority so after development you should uh, obviously you should know all the operations part you should be familiar with the version control system there are many version control systems in market like get sv and bit bucket so you should you can pick up any one but uh, i know personally i would suggest you uh, try to go with git git and you can also opt for bit bucket svn also so you should uh, have a strong grasp on a version control system why because as a devops engineer you will be fetching code you will be checking in code you will be uh, creating uh, repositories you will be uh, creating accounts for newcomers in git so all the administration part which is required uh, for a version control system that part you will be working upon so obviously you should have a grasp that is very very important so you can go with git svn bitbucket next comes after a version control system what you will be doing you will be using a uh, ci tool obviously jenkins or if you are working on azure devops then then the, then azure devops is already there but if you are using jenkins as a ci tool then obviously you should know jenkins jenkins is basically a continuous integration tool so this is the integration tool we, which you should know and then comes uh, containers nowadays companies are basically preferring containers like docker containers docker is a very famous containerization platform so what docker do it basically removes the dependency you can deploy your application to uat production development without worrying about the underlying dependencies because when you uh, uh, when you package your application in the form of containers so uh, like you don't have to worry about the underlying uh, libraries and configuration setting let's suppose i have developed my application in my own personal laptop and it is working fine on my personal laptop but it is not working in uat or maybe production environment then that would be a big issue 
so this why this happens why the application is working in my end why it is not working in the uh, another laptop because there are many dependencies there are many packages libraries internal packages configuration structures you know, on which the application is dependent and the environment on production and UAT is different and on my local system is different so that may be the reason and there are many other reasons why the application does not work so containerization basically this technology helps to solve this problem you don't have to worry about the inter and like underlying libraries configuration structure just to package your application in the form of container container and then just deploy it so obviously container is very important let's say if you are even a cloud azure cloud admin or if you are an azure admin like some administration part you are working on azure or aws then containerization is very very important so you should also have a good understanding on containerization uh, like scripting so devops you all know you all must be knowing it's uh, all a form of automation you create build pipelines you create release pipelines and you just deploy your updated code through these pipelines you just change the code in the source control and then you trigger the pipelines or maybe it is automatically triggered as per your environment so you should have a understanding of a scripting also so in scripting you can learn bash you can learn powershell you can learn shell scripting so you should have a like uh, i would not say basic knowledge but good knowledge on scripting because many companies are demanding today scripting knowledge so obviously you should have a good understanding on scripting so personally i know bash i know powershell because like uh, i have worked on these scripting languages in my real time environments also okay so you can note these points in your uh, notepad on or some paper if you want and apart from scripting i would also suggest you can learn ansible or chef I, personally i would suggest ansible because ansible is more uh, as, uh, more easy this is the first thing as compared to chef and ansible is more in demand so ansible is basically a configuration management tool in ansible we usually write playbooks so it is like uh, a very important tool from configuration point of view and you should have a grasp on this tool because many companies uh, when i attended interviews each and almost every company asked if i know ansible or not okay so these are the things and, and some other tools are there but they are not much important as per my experience because i have given several interviews on devops so these are the uh, main tools which uh, each and every com company is demanding rest all, it all depends on the company also but this i am telling from my experience and this is an approximate it's an average basically not the entire complete exact figure and i know maven also maven is basically a build tool so if you want you can watch some tutorials on youtube or i will also be creating maven tutorials I, I will be teaching how you can uh, deploy and build a java app using maven build tool so maven is also important if some company is uh, implementing java code then they will be using maven most probably as a build tool so apart from this uh, apart from this already also you should know a cloud platform that is obvious you should know aws azure or as per your convenience you can choose anyone but aws is more in demand as compared to azure so yeah these are the basic and most important tools which are required in for to be a devops engineer apart from that there are many other tools like sonar cube and selenium these are basically for testing so you can learn these tools if you want but the ones which i mentioned in my video these are more important and these are mainly asked by a devops engineer and it also depends on experience my experience is less so company won't demand much but if your experience is more five years six years or maybe more than that then companies will they will demand obviously more tools and the obviously you should have a hands-on experience that is uh, much preferred as compared to the theoretical knowledge 
so every company demands and hires someone who is having hands on experience who is having the skills not the knowledge knowledge is important but skills are more preferred as compared to knowledge so if you can just practice in your own laptop you can download the required tools and softwares and you can check out blogs you can watch my videos i'm mainly focusing on the real time implementation only i'm not uh, focusing on the basic definitions that you can search it out on the internet also i mentioned this in my first video so i will be focusing on the real time implementations you can watch watch it out if you want so yeah, that's it for this video i will keep you posted on the next video and next video i will <coughs> sorry i will be basically focusing on the interview questions which are asked uh, so yeah that's it bye bye guys thanks for watching